day here across northeast Wisconsin. Temperatures managed to make it into the lower 80s, and we're expected to see warmer temperatures as we end off the weekend as well. 79 for tomorrow, 80 degrees on Monday, and then we slightly cool off Tuesday with temperatures in the mid-70s. And then 79 by Wednesday. We're below average by next Friday, and we warm back up into the 70s by next Saturday. However, we are seeing kind of an active radar as of right now. We have a severe thunderstorm warning for areas to the south of Green Lake and Marquette, and that's moving towards the northeast. Associated with the system pushing through is small hail as well as some blustery wind conditions and heavy rainfall. Right now, temperatures are in the mid to lower 80s. Highs today in the lower 80s. High of 81 in Green Bay, 81 also in Clintonville, 84 in Wapaka, so warm. Temperatures right now still in the mid to lower 80s, 79 out towards Clintonville, 81 in Appleton, and then 78 in Oshkosh. So overall not bad temperature wise, but when you factor in the dew points, it feels like it's in the mid to lower 60s. So kind of a sticky feel as you head outside and a little muggy. Right now though, on our satellite and radar and precision radar, we're not seeing too much activity across northeast Wisconsin. But those showers and thunderstorms will eventually make its way into our viewing area by around 8 or 9 o'clock tonight. Areas to the south of us are are under a severe thunderstorm watch. So Fond du Lac, Green Lake, and Marquette County until 9 o'clock tonight. Northeast, uh, most of northeast Wisconsin is not under that watch, but we still have the chance of seeing those thunderstorms to tonight, and uh, the, which will eventually clear throughout the overnight hours. But a large majority of the Midwest is also under that severe thunderstorm watch as well as parts of northern Iowa, southern Minnesota, as well as northern Illinois. So the system is impacting more than just northeast Wisconsin. And because of that, we're under a marginal risk of seeing the chance of some severe weather pushed through tonight. But uh, with that system pushing through, we could see anywhere between winds around 40 to 60 miles per hour, hail up to one inch, and uh, some damaging wind conditions as it pushes through the area. So we have to be weather aware as we go into the later evening hours. And it's all associated with the slow pressure system that's pushing through. A cold front will move through the area come tomorrow. Tomorrow. So rain really isn't out of our forecast as we end off the weekend. This is tonight at around 9 o'clock. We have a line of showers and thunderstorms pushing through. But after that moves through, we do see a little bit of a clearing, mostly to partly cloudy skies tonight. And as we go into tomorrow at around noon, we see scattered showers as well as some thunderstorms, which will continue on into the afternoon. They'll dissipate throughout the overnight hours. And then we see mostly sunny skies by the end of the weekend and into the beginning of your uh, holiday. So we do see a nice Monday with mostly sunny skies. For tonight, though, temperatures drop into the 60s, scattered uh, showers and thunderstorms. And then for tomorrow, temperatures topping out in the lower 70s, showers and thunderstorms throughout the day with windy conditions. Our extended forecast, 80 degrees for Monday. We do see a chance of some showers and thunderstorms Tuesday into Wednesday with temperatures in the mid-70s. And we'll continue to see that chance of some showers and thunderstorms by the end of next week and into next weekend with uh, temperatures in the mid to lower 70s. So we do kind of have an active evening tonight, so just be aware if you're out and about. Definitely lots of activity in the yes. weather department. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Stephanie. Well, still to come, one more.